It is Monday morning, um, bright and blue skies here in Orlando. We are leaving on a plane uh, in a little bit at 11 o'clock. Just wanted to get a run in, good way to start a week. And it's super hot and sweaty, so now run and take a shower, run for breakfast, and then run in for the airport. Hope you're having a good one wherever you are. Should be a great week. down the road. The sunset. We picked up Sophie from Chris's parents. Yes, I said your name. <laughs> Long day on the road. We're really excited to be home. <laughs> it is Wednesday. Happy 4th of July and Independence Day here in the U.S. I am in my studio working on some more vision cards. I will let you check those out in just a second. I'm also going to get Draw Right Daily done. I believe we are having waffles for breakfast. Yay! And my mom's coming over. We're going to do like vegan hot dogs and a like apple crumble thing that I have to make with blueberries in it and set off fireworks that we bought. So it should be a fun filled day and so excited to be home after long travels and be back in the studio as well. So. Follow along and check it out. So I've started yesterday a new background set of vision cards. I like to do kind of a whole grouping all at once in the same colors and it, so they almost feel like they go together really well. Um, my first set was all kind of more muted colors and this one is going to be more like bright and energetic and you can see kind of the scribble lines and the splatters and a lot of really like high energy, warm colors to go with those cool colors. Um, of course, I also have Draw Right Daily here. Yesterday was add, so I just kept adding medium to this page, and you can see it curls up a little bit, but once I fold it in and close it, it'll all kind of go back together and be a happy little book again. So definitely gonna get to that today, and I really wanna get to this larger painting. I've had this canvas in here for a couple weeks now and just haven't had the time, so I would love to get to that. And it is super hot out, but it is a beautiful day. I'm gonna try and get a run in as well. So we'll see if all that gets done. If not, um, sometimes it's just nice to enjoy a day off and just hang out. All right, here is Draw Right Daily for the day. I have some pencil lines, ink lines, and some simple colors. Since today is subtract, I went very simplistic and just used two colors. Um, this beautiful kind of yellowy orange and this green hue together and a little bit of white to kind of push color and darks and lights together. Really kind of enjoying this style. Might do some more of these. Playing some dog pile here. Not very good at it. This is a really tough game. It's fun to do tying challenges, so if you uh, want to check it out, you can grab it on Amazon. It's like a puzzle game where you stack these little dogs into blocks or squares or different shapes. We did end up getting a run in. It was crazy hot out there. Came back, had dinner. My mom's over for fireworks. Elliot is outside already running around and Sophie is not really excited about any of it. Anyway, have you ever looked at the, uh, the staff on who gets injured by fireworks? Uh-uh. It's, it's totally teenage boys. Oh, really? Like the girls don't even register. Hey. Friday. I am sitting in the mall. Chris is getting his phone fixed, hanging out, having some David's tea, and waiting to go home to my studio. It is first Friday. I'm not sure if we're going to hit any of the art stuff, but definitely want to get in the studio and make some of my own tonight. I am exhausted and so happy of the weekend. It's Saturday! Chris. <laughs> ah! It is Sunday and it is a gorgeous day outside. Uh, the heat wave has finally broken so we're getting some nice breezes. Uh, hung out yesterday was full of the mall twice. 
Uh, Chris finally got his phone fixed. We had to hit the Apple store two different times, spent a bunch of time in the mall. I got some tea from David's Tea and a new tea maker, so I'm excited about that. I'm gonna make some tea today. Also, definitely want to get into the studio. I had a new art kit, travel kit come. I posted about it on Instagram a little bit, but I'm gonna do like kind of a walkthrough of it today. Excited about that. Since we have an Airstream vacation coming up in about a week, and then we're going to France in September. Um, excited to see and decide what kind of art supplies I wanna take. Uh, so I'll be sharing that. And then definitely some art, uh, Draw Right Daily and Vision Cards. Um, I have a whole day ahead of me. I like Sundays. Saturdays I think are a little bit better, but you end up doing lots of chores and things. So ready to get to it. All right, I am in my studio. I am about to go through my pocket palette new kit um, that I am gonna set up for our vacation that we're taking on the Airstream in about a week and show you all the stuff it came with and then figure out which other colors I wanna pick to put in my palette and kind of see how they're gonna end up drying out. Sometimes watercolors can dry out and kind of pop out of palettes. Um, I do a lot of palettes that are plastic. These ones are metal, which I'll be showing you in a second. So I'm interested to see how they fare in the little metal palettes. All right, check it out. So I am always looking for new travel kits. Um, I love art supplies. I have way too many and I keep collecting them and that's okay. I guess everybody has to have their collections, their hobbies and definitely finding art supplies is one of mine. So this is the art toolkit by um, a woman who was really looking for her own type of field sketching palette and watercolor kit and decided to make one. So I ordered one because I love the size of it and I love that it comes with this whole case if you choose to go that direction. I also got um, a pre-done watercolor palette that she partnered with Mark Taro Holmes, who is a new artist, I'd never heard of him. I looked him up, he has a book called Direct Watercolor, which looked pretty cool, I might order that. But let's get into this and check it out. So all of these kind of like paper thank you cards were in here, I already took them out. Um, since I ordered the whole kit, it came with like a little toolkit that kind of explains the materials in here. And I've already made a slight modification just from the supplies I really enjoy using, my water brush and such. So I'll talk about those and what it came with. But it has a little like sketching 101 techniques and watercolor, how she does her process. So that's pretty nice, like a lot of attention to detail on the elements that come with it. And then it also came with these little bags because I ordered two different pocket palettes, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, I'm probably not gonna use these because they fit into this case, but that's a nice little addition to be able to slide the palettes into here. And then I ordered some additional pans. So I want to fill my own watercolors and her pans and her palettes are metal. So you can see these little half pan sizes here. And I'm gonna decide what colors to put into my palettes just in a little bit. So let's get into this. So it is a zipper, um, like most artist cases, it's black, it's a nice fabric, and it has some little loops here. So if you wanted to string something through that to hold it onto something or clip it onto something, that would be possible. Um, and then inside we have a nice little satiny logo here for Art Toolkit, arttoolkit.com. And I ordered it, the whole kit. So it came with one palette and I got to choose the colors. There's different colors, but of course I went with black because it's just a basic good color. And this is the empty black palette that it came with. And it comes with these, this size pan. And like I said, I ordered um, some of these smaller ones. You can see the difference there between that full pan and the half pan. And I like this. This is essentially a business card holder that she had custom printed. And then in the bottom here, the pans don't fall out because there is a magnet that holds these in and these are fairly light so the magnet really does a good job of holding them in she's placed a piece of white um probably synthetic paper here so that it can hold up to mixing and using a space to mix i like that because obviously you need white that would not work very well on the black metal business card holder and you can fill these with whatever colors you want I also ordered one, like I was mentioning, the Pre-Done Artist Set 
by Mark Holmes. So this came with these colors and these half pans already set in here. And <clears throat> it came with this little card so you can see exactly which colors are in here. So we have a kind of a variety of colors. I did a little swatching of it and played with these colors in my sketchbook a little bit. And that's these over here. So you can see them all swatched out. And then I just played with a little line work and mixing and just seeing how those colors kind of come to life together. Loving really this maroon color is just beautiful. And these are probably colors I would not have picked um, straight away from my palette, but I love to see other artists' palettes and kind of work with them and play with them. And I thought with the size of these, it would give me the opportunity to have these and then also mix in some of these other small ones, pick my own colors, and have two really little palettes to be able to carry around with me. I'm always looking for a way to carry more art supplies in a smaller amount of space, so these are a lot of fun. This is obviously a silver one, so you can see that, and then it has that same paper, synthetic um, sticker paper in here, which I did use and mixed on this one, and then washed right off, so that's pretty awesome. Probably my only downside to these, because they're a business card holder, they have this little lip here. Um, and so if you get your paint scooted down, you can see it really cuts into that space for your paints. Uh, so you kind of have to keep them pushed up and you just you lose about, mm, about a sixteenth of an inch of your palette right in there. But I think that um, being the only negative for how small and tiny and custom that this would be and it does fit into these little bags if you did want to do that um that can make it really nice for travel too if you don't have this whole kit that slides into um or if you just want to throw it in your purse or something and take it somewhere quickly and don't want to bring this whole kit and this does hold two different palettes so you can see i got one out of this little pocket and they slide in and when I put the one I ordered in this little pocket and you can see they all come together. It also comes with a syringe so if you're out and you have a bottle of water and you need to fill your water brush you can do that easily and a little mini mister so you can work wet and wet very easily. It also came with a sketchbook and this is a Stillman and Brin which I love their sketchbooks. Um, they're great paper. This is mixed media, so it takes wet and dry watercolor. It's very heavy, cold press surface. Um, and you can hear that. It's a good, nice weight paper. Uh, and I'm 270 GSM, so I'm excited to kind of play with that. I'm gonna save it for my first trip and see how that works. And then it actually came with this Golden Bear pencil a Sharpie pen and a water brush. So this is actually one of my water brushes that I use all the time, the Pentel of these. I like how you can control the water. I'm really used to them. <clears throat> I took out the Sharpie pen. Sharpie is not a um, archival pen. So over time, this will eat away at your paper and it will also turn a kind of brown black color. So I took that out and I replaced it with a Le Pen drawing pen and a Copic multiliner. Both are archival and pigmented ink as well, um, but they will not turn colors like a Sharpie will. Um, and I am gonna sharpen this pencil and try it out. She talked about doing a lot of testing and choosing this pencil out of other pencils. So I'm gonna check that out, but I did replace it with my Mechanical Mab Color Alvin Draftmatic Pencil. These are just great to use. This is an HB lead. And then I also put a brush pen in here, um, Japanese brush pen with India ink. And then I replaced this Pentel, which I will be probably bringing as well, with my water brush, which is from Japan that has natural bristles. So just a slight modification there. It did come with these little clips because a card was clipped in here and then you can see all the other little pockets. It has a pocket over here. That's where this book goes on this side. And yeah, ultimately, um, just a little bit of playing I've done with it has been awesome. I'm going to fill out my 
pans next and kind of choose watercolors. I have a bunch of different Daniel Smith tubes of paint and I'm gonna look at kind of matching out the colors that I already have with some of these colors and making a larger kind of finished palette for what I wanna be carrying around with me. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm sure when I am out in the Airstream and I am using it, I will do a little review on location there as well and tell you how it's going, but overall it looks pretty cool. It's really nice and compact and I'm excited to get out and use it. done you can see all my swatches and trying to decide which colors I wanted to put in here I think I have a good selection I have one palette left to fill I'm gonna use this larger one as kind of another mixing place or to put extra water as I use my palette that's what I'm thinking right now we'll see how it goes once I test it out um, and I want to swatch all of these colors before I decide on that last color. I have a lot of different ones to choose from. I'm thinking maybe an iridescent, um, but I'm not quite sure. I like how some of these colors really, really pop against each other. And I want to make sure I have kind of an extra color that isn't already in my palette or a variation of what's in my palette, just something totally different. Kind of like I picked this iridescent electric blue up there in the corner. I want something really interesting. So I gotta wait, I gotta swatch everything, and then I should be finished. This other palette, I think I'm gonna give to Chris so he can also play with one, and he has lots of pants here to kind of choose from sizing to fill it. And I'm excited for this to dry, swatch it, and take it out to test it. It is Pokemon Community Day out in the park, so of course I'm out here catching a bunch of Squirtles along with basically everybody else. Uh, it's fun times. So we just got this game called M Tiny Epic Quest for the Airstream. We thought, cute travel game. The box is only like this big. We laid it out and tried to play, play it today. 45 minutes to set it up, read half of the rule book. My, my throat literally hurts from reading instructions. And we took a quarter of one turn. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, this is not a travel game. If you see this game on Amazon, it is super highly rated, but it literally makes no sense. And I do not have another hour to put into it to figure it out. So my tiny epic quest is going back into my tiny game closet, probably never to see the light of day. <laughs> All right, it is Sunday night and I'm calling this vlog a wrap. I just made some tea. I got this new kind of tea steeper from David's Teas when I was at the mall for the billionth time yesterday. And it's like a French press where you put hot water and tea in the bottom and then you press it down once it's steeped and you put ice up top. So it makes iced tea and it vacuum seals it so it stops steeping. So it's pretty good. You should check one out. Um, you can find them online. I'm sure on David's Teas website love a good cup of tea in the evening um, or really any time of day. <laughs> I am in the studio and gonna finish up a piece I've been working on as I was filling pans of watercolor uh, for a big chunk of today. That was a lot of fun and I think I am still going to try and get to this big canvas tonight so wish me luck on that. Of course editing this vlog and getting it up and yeah getting draw right daily done. So I will see you next week. Hope you have a good one and 
I hope you also make time for art and a little bit of happiness and some downtime wherever you are. I'm excited one more week until we are in our Airstream for a week. So looking forward to that. Uh, until then, see you next time. Bye!